improv art takes center stage with silk painter Lee Zimmerman and cellist Kathy McTavish. We'll share an insider's approach to this week's gallery hop in Duluth and preview one of the Duluth Superior Symphony Orchestra's featured guests, Frank Almond. That's what's on the playlist this week. Funding for the playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Well, tonight we salute a 20-year tradition in Duluth's art scene, the annual Earth Day Gallery Hop. It certainly showcases the wealth of talent in our community. And joining us tonight to talk about what to expect this year is a pair of gallery owners. Jeff Schmidt is the owner of Lizard's Gallery, and Bev Johnson is from the Art Dock. Thank you guys for coming in. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you're you welcome. for having us. 20 years of a gallery hop in Duluth. That's a pretty impressive uh, tradition. It is. It is. And... Um, it, you know, it's just it's such an enjoyable one for gallery owners to um, to host as well. It's it's a really fun event for families. It's got to be a ton of work though to get ready for, yeah. It is, but it's it's just like a spring cleaning. It's bringing in new artwork. It's it's um, it's so interesting for us as well. Now, Bev, you might have been around when they first started this great idea of the gallery hop. Was it hard to get people together to to okay? all the galleries together to support this, or how did it get started? Well, it was the 20th anniversary of Earth Day, and uh, my partner Eileen Carjuara and I were talking about how can we celebrate the arts and the community and Earth Day all in one, and let's have an art fair or an art gallery or an art hop or a stroll of some kind. And so that's how it started, um, with six participating venues and environmental themes and a portone trolley for mass transit. And so the, that was the beginning of the Art for Earth Day gallery hop. And we always um, try to keep the gallery hop around Earth Day. And this year it's Earth Day is April 22nd. It's the 40th anniversary of Earth Day. That's, uh, what an accomplishment. I mean, really, first of all, that Earth Day has been around for 40 years and that the gallery hop that, ha that has sustained it and continued uh, with the same purpose, with the, with the idea of introducing new artists to the community or with that environmental purpose still front and center? How do you um, see it? For many of the galleries, yes, it's still it's been a recurring theme every year. Um, you know, there's many new venues, though, that you, all, uh, um, each of the hosting galleries is um, open to whatever kind of um, exhibit they want to put on. Yeah, quite a variety. Oh, huge variety. And, and, and it involves um, performing arts as well now, um, musicians performing at each of the venues. And that's just fun. Now, I have to tease you a little bit because you have kind of a recycled theme. Uh, Catherine Kempshen has her pieces at Lizards this yes, week. Yes, yes. Uh, she's been collecting men's silk ties for years and has been developing this body of work and it was just kind of um, a perfect time to premiere that, that exhibit. That's very fun. And at the Art Dock, what's happening? At the Art Dock is our group show. It's called In Honor of the Earth. It's the 17th annual. And we have tw representing 25 different artists with two-dimensional and three-dimensional work. And some um, recycled products are involved in not everything, but in a lot of them. Um, the landscapes represent the Northland and how beautiful a place it is that we live. I have to ask, are any of your own, your personal pieces on the wall there? They are not. <laughs> I think we need to change that, Beth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody else has asked that, too. <laughs> I think we could put some of your work on there. So if you stepped into one of the galleries in Duluth this week, you probably saw a lot of activity. Galleries are making room for special guest artists and demonstrations and generally preparing for the kickoff of the season. Here's a little taste of the action. My name is Laura Goey and you're at the Blue Lake Gallery. We are getting ready to start our gallery hop for the year, the 20th year of the gallery hop and we've been involved for 10 years. We have many new artists this year and um, I'll show you a few. Um, 
new to us this year um, is Linda Yates, who does colorful mosaic um, mirrors, tiles. Behind you here, Karen, is Chuck Gronowski, who is a fabulous glass blower. Chuck is retired from the nuclear power plant, Prairie Island Nuclear Power Plant, and now he's following his passion uh, doing his blown glass, and you'll find him in Red Wing. John and Sally Carlson, they've been with us for a number of years. They're pretty well known as the specialists on taking the Northern Light photos. Fabulous people, very nice people. Mm -hmm. Also new to Blue Lake this year is um, Bob and Cheryl Husby, which a lot of people are familiar with. Bob and Cheryl, um, of course, do some of the salt shakers that people collect, as well as pottery bowls, vases, mugs, um, lots of wonderful pottery from Bob and Cheryl. Jan Wise is a new artist for us who does uh, the bear, polar bear prints. Anthony Hunder. I don't know how someone can make pottery feel so soft. I think it's the glaze. I'm working in the corner, and oftentimes in the gallery when you move one thing, you end up moving five things, and that's what's happening today. Where I'm working right now with some of Karen Mackey's work. I met her in a coffee shop after admiring her work for a long time, and combined with that, I'll hang some of Linda Yates's mosaics, um, just to bring out some bright colors. Uh, this is our canvas. We hang our artwork, you know, accordingly. The quality of artists in this area is just uh, phenomenal to me. It, you know, I come into work every day and it's not even really work. It's, it's a gift. So that looks like a fun job. And you understand when you move one thing, you move five. Exactly. That's very cool. So tell me more about the gallery hop as far as what's new this year. Well, there's um, three new venues this year. Um, Gaia Art Gallery is a new gallery in Canal Park, and their focus is on recycled artwork, rec artwork made from recycled materials. Mm -hmm. um, the second would be Zeitgeist Arts. Um, they are featuring um, covers from OOV magazine. And the third is Art in the Alley in Superior. Um, and this is the second year now that Superior, um, a gallery in Superior has participated. Which is, I think, great. You know, that bridge is, is a bridge, it's not a barrier. Yeah. Which is pretty neat. Um, other galleries that are part of it, you were just talking about the emerging artists at the Duluth Art the, Institute. Right, and the uh, Tweed Museum of Art has the student show um, and has been active in the gallery hop since day one. Um, another uh, gallery is Severson's Gallery. And, and they have um, Rick Allen's pieces. Rick Allen's, he's Rick's, awesome. Yeah. Um, Washington Studio Artists Cooperative, <laughs> that's a big word, big name, um, is actually having a mini uh, art festival in the hallways and their gallery is showcasing uh, some of the artists that live in that building. Yeah. That, it's just so much going on and thank you for your work in organizing all this, Bev. You're welcome. I, I, I've been hearing that, that it kind of happens by, by your magic. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, yep, the trolleys are going to run. Thank you, Bev. Yes, <laughs> the, you know, <laughs> the word's getting out. So thank you.